Wow, it sure is hot out today. Wow, look at this little canal. I have a boat ride here later today. Is that Dr. Romano I see? Hi, Dr. Romano. Hi, how are you? I was just out here checking out to go on a boat ride. Well, why don't we check out what's called a net ionic equation? A lot of kids have been asking me to make up a videotape, so come around and let's have a look. Okay, Dr. Romano. What I want to do here is to do a problem that a lot of students have difficulty with. In a previous video, I did the solubility rules. So make sure you review the solubility rules before you even do this. For example, one of the solubility rules is all nitrates are soluble. All acetates are soluble. Or, for instance, if you see something with silver, mercury, and lead, and it's an iodide, a chloride, a bromide, it would be insoluble. So you got to review those rules before we do this. Now, what we're going to do is there's three types of equations. There's the molecular equation, the ionic equation, and then finally the net ionic equation. So let's have a look at a concrete example. It I'm says right, here that we're going to take lead to nitrate and we're going to react it with potassium iodide. And what I want to do is to show what's called the molecular, the ionic, and the net equation. The net ionic equation. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is write out the formula for lead to nitrate. You should be familiar with the rules of this. For example, lead 2 is Pb plus 2. Nitrates, NO3, minus 1, and you crisscross, and you came up with that. So I'm going to assume you know how to write the formula. So we take lead 2 nitrate, and potassium iodide is Ki, and what you're going to do is exchange parts. So the Pb goes with the I, and the K goes with the NO3, and that gives you KNO3 and PbI2. Um, there's two nitrates here, so you put a 2 in front of this to balance it. And then this gives you two potassiums. I put a two on this side. And you check to make sure that everything is balanced. Always do that in the, in the molecular equation. Now, go back to the solubility rules. All nitrates are soluble. That's why I write aqueous. All iodides are soluble, especially if they have a group 1A metal on it. So that would be aqueous. Again, all nitrates are soluble, aqueous. But now when we come to this, the solubility rule says that iodides of lead are insoluble. So that's why I know that's a solid. So the first thing you need to do is when you get the molecular equation, make sure you got the species that are soluble and the species that are the insoluble, meaning the solid. Anything that's aqueous now, after you finish the molecular equation and go to the ionic equation, we break up. So lead nitrate breaks up into a mole of lead and two moles of nitrate, any ion, of course, is aqueous. And then 2Ki breaks up into 2K plus 2I minus, these are aqueous. There's your arrow, it breaks up into two potassiums and two nitrates, and the solid stays as PBI2 solid. The next thing you're going to do to get the net ionic equation is cross out the guys that cross out on both sides, the species. So two nitrates cross out with two nitrates, Two potassiums, cross out with two potassiums, and you're left with Pb plus 2I minus gives PbI2 solid, and this would represent the net ionic equation. And that's all there is to it. So remember, there's three equations, the molecular equation, there's the ionic and the net ionic, but in order to do this, you have to have two skills. You have to know how to write formula of compounds by using the little crisscross method, that I have shown on another tape, and of course, know the solubility rules. I'll make another one up down the road, but this will give you a good start on how to do something what we call the net ionic equations. All right, good day to you. I hope this helps. It does, Dr. Romano. Do you think there's any fish in that water behind you there? I can care less if there's any fish. Get to work, and good day to you. Good day to you, sir. Thanks for the help. I'll be taking a break now.